What's going on everybody? It's me Hassan or a lot of you from the internet might know me as Hazer. I drive this 2009 Pontiac G8 um, which is behind me. I recently did some work on the car from my buddy Scott at Mystic Auto Body and I also decided to put my summer wheels on. Anyways, for those of you who might not know the full story, the car was actually a V6 when I got it seven years ago and since then it's changed quite a bit. Right now it's got a heads cam 6.1, it's bored over just a little bit. It's got an LSA supercharger on it running E85. The car makes right around 700 wheel horsepower. Uh, let me pop the hood. Oh. It doesn't want to open. There we go. Uh, a lot of it's going to change in the future. I did uh, wrinkle white on the LSA lid thinking it would look good but I guess it just looked better in pictures, not in real life. Um, car is a little bit dirty under here, so don't mind the mess. Um, yeah, but it's running about 12 pounds of boost. Planning on turning it up in the summer this year, and uh, let's see what it does. So obviously the first thing you notice is the hood. Um, you know, I tried to do something a little modern. Uh, you know, a lot of the new GM stuff is coming with a something like this where it's just a straight down close to the hood vents um, and I think it looks great you know just uh, leaving a little bit of the carbon exposed I think it looks freaking awesome uh, second I mean those are my custom made headlights obviously you've seen um, I also did gloss black on the upper and lower grill I'm working on something with the fog lights so you guys will see that in an upcoming video also, you can notice the front bumper has been repainted. Um, last time it was on a tow truck, the guy decided to scrape up the whole front end, and there were a few, you know, stress cracks. Uh, the whole bottom was just scraped. It just looked like ass, and we'll notice my new wheels. Um, they are HRE FF01s. Um, I wanted to run something a little more aggressive than the. G8 and SS fitment that they offer so I decided to run ATSV fitment all around so that gives me a concave profile all around um, as you guys may have heard I'm starting my own business called wheeltrade.com uh, you guys need to check it out and I'll have some updates for you guys in the future for that you can see that it's concave front and rear just looks amazing in my opinion also I you know just Scott helped me out with uh, finishing a lot of the body work that was just all around the car I mean it's got 70,000 miles so it was taking a beating I also since I've put this new carbon wing on I had the holes here for my old wing and those were filled in I think it looks great I might still do the blackout on the top just to match with the hood and you know with the carbon and roof I think it should look great also decided to black out the chrome on the door handles um, I had vinyl there before but you know everyone whoever touched it it just started peeling just pulling the car out for you guys you guys can uh, take a look at it beautiful day out here so. it's a quick walk around for you guys so happy with the way the car turned out, man. I couldn't not be happier. Look at that. So right now the car is on uh, quiet mode. I press this. It opens it up. It's still not loud enough to what I want it to be. So I definitely will be cutting the mid muffler out of this cat bag. It's actually an X-Force 3 inch cat bag if anyone's interested in buying it. It's a really nice system, very quality build. So there you guys have it. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and I will be doing a lot more videos so you guys better stay tuned. And here she is one more time. Thanks guys for watching.